in this video we're going to be looking at the factor of safety within ANSYS Discovery and how it can help you to further understand your products and help your design. So just a, a quick one on factor of safety and what it is. Um, it's the failure load divided by the allowable load. Different industries and component uses will require different factors of safety. So we can see here just a few examples of those. You can see aircraft components 1.5 to 2.5, cast iron wheels quite high, 20, engine components 6 to 8. So those are just a few examples of um, factors of safety. I'm going to open up this um, sample bracket in Discovery. Uh, this has already got the simulation pre-set up. Um, very easy to set up the simulation, but we can see here on the left hand side, uh, it's uh, an aluminium property. It's got a force of 200 newtons in the minus Z direction, and we've got two fixed supports here. Um, aluminium has a uh, yield strength of around 270, I think it's probably between 260 and 290. It's uh, always probably best to underestimate rather than overestimate, um, better be safe than sorry. Um, and I'm going to hit the solve button and we can find out based on the simulation what factor of safety this part actually has. So I'm going to hit the solve button. Uh, we've got results instantly. Um, at the moment we're looking at displacement. So I'm going to actually change that to stress and I'm going to change my units to uh, megapascals. At the top right hand corner here we can see our factor of safety. We can create a chart for this so we can actually track our factors of safety as we change the design. Um, you just have to right click here and say show chart. So we can see design iteration one and we've got a factor of safety of this. I'm actually going to make a change. So if this was a, a, an engine component or an aerospace component, obviously it's, it's, it's exceeding the factor of safety. If it was an aerospace component, you might go, well, can I reduce the weight of this component and, um, and still be in with that, within that factor of safety tolerance. I'm going to increase the, uh, the force uh, now to 600 newtons to let's say 500 newtons and um, hit enter. The, the model will re-simulate and instantly we will get some more results. So we can see straight away that our factor of safety has fallen, which obviously is to be expected. Um, we're now looking at a factor of safety of 5.6. Um, if this was a um, an engine component, the factor of safety is six to eight. So we can see that it probably wouldn't be ideal for that. We might need to make some design changes. We can see in the model the high areas of stress. We can see it's down here and probably maybe a little bit up here. And we can actually just uh, over exaggerate those areas if we wish by scrolling the slider bar and we can see the areas darken in colour. So um, now we could potentially make some design changes and say, okay, well, what happens if I change this whole, this cutout ever so slightly? Uh, will that allow my. Um, part to hit the factor of safety tolerance. So I'm just going to just double click, select all these faces. I'm just going to just manually uh, thicken these parts um, just, just ever so slightly, eyeball it, and just see what happens if that, um, so I can actually see my factor of safety has actually fallen, which obviously isn't brilliant. Um, let's just see whether I can thicken larger, make that rad larger. And let's see if that will increase my factor of safety. So it's gone up, but still, still not hitting the target. Let's do something drastic. Let's actually get rid of this um, this cutout here using the fill tool. So I'm just going to use the F key on the keyboard and see now if it's hitting my factor of safety of six. So I can see just about hit it six, just over six. But we can see. The changes we've made obviously the iteration five and uh, now it's actually within the factor of safety for my engine component obviously quite a drastic change there at the end but i just wanted to show you the power of discovering how you can change your model very quickly and track your changes uh, hopefully this video has explained how you can use factor of safety in discovery but if you do have any questions feel free to drop us a comment or an email